Yo, 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 you already know who it is. It's ya boy. Today we're playing some more brand new Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Today we're playing with my boy, Galakrond. He has the hero power. Boop. Look at that edit. Look at that fancy edit. All right. So, he has the hero power. Pay one to make a minion in the shop a tier higher. So, that's pretty cool. Turn one, we're starting off with the 4-4 four, four demon. Pretty cool. Even with the nerf, he's still, I would say, probably the best demon one drop. Or just the best one drop in general. Uh, here we go and take the first win. Here I go and just level because you already know. We got a level 1-2. Here we go and take a tie, which is fine. It's fine. Here, what do we do? I think here we take Hummingbird because he's a big boy. And then we go ahead and take the extra gold. And we pick up the 2-2 two, two, uh, tourist guy. So if he survives a battle, we get a golden reward, which is pretty cool. I was not expecting a 3-drop this fast. <laughs> um, I was expecting them to have a little bit something. So now, of course, you know, out of the bunch, we picked up Malkazar. Malkazar is just really good. I love Malkazar. Even if you don't play demons, he is still just a really good, like, kind of early game kind of thing. Uh, here we go ahead and pull a Swamp Striker from the Tad. Here we go ahead and pull the Malkazar. Here we get a Soul Rewinder, which means we can actually start, like, playing good stuff now. Pick up Banana. Hit another Spin so that we can damage ourselves. And we're doing pretty good now. Here we're going to take a win barely by just Swamp Striker. Pretty cool. Here we go to level. And we got some free spins, so might as well use the spins. We're going to use them either way because we got to make sure we damage the hero. Get the extra little bit of damage. Here, I don't think... Actually, yeah. Here I try and get something else because I'm getting a little bit greedy. But here we pick up the uh, Pilgrim, which is pretty cool. Now we get to buy minions for free. Or we get to buy uh, demons for free, I guess, specifically. Here, uh, very sad, we get a 10% <laughs> chance to tie. We're pretty much taking damage that time. Uh, 8 damage here, it's fine. This time we're... What do we get here? So here, I think pretty much all of these are just like not good for me. We're not playing pirates, we're not playing Nagas. Dardanassus Pi, I think, is like kind of bad because we're not selling a bunch of minions, but uh Here I think I pick up some But here we're picking up ceremonial uh ceremonial sword. I feel like it's a little bit of a little bit of like I guess a nice little boost right now. It's not super important, but it is definitely something. Here we pick up Malkazar, we get the free gold. I always remember to pick that up, guys. Free gold for nothing. Pretty nice. Here we get a golden Malkazar, which we gotta we gotta break it there. We gotta pause. Uh, we gotta I mean freeze it. We gotta freeze it. You know, gotta make sure we get that for next turn. Here again, somehow we actually we lose because of the uh, three four right there on the side. So pretty sad. They just have like infinite attack basically. So it is what it is. Here I think about doing the spins for a second and I'm like, oh wait, I can't do that because I have Malkazar literally frozen in the shop. I can't do that. Here we have like a really good option. We got either a Pelgrim, another Soul Rinder, or another Malkazar. These are all really good. Uh, here we pick up the second Soul Rinder, which is nice. We'll be able to get a golden one very soon. Hopefully. Here we get uh, awful five drops. And so here at this point, we're pretty much done with the shop. Here, we actually get our very first win in what feels like forever. We beat a Leapfrogger, which is very nice. I always like beating Leapfroggers because, I don't know, it just feels like Leapfroggers are not... It feels like Leapfroggers aren't good, but, I mean, I know they're good, but they don't feel good to play. I don't know. It's just a me thing, I guess. Here we go to make sure we take our spins. We get the Percussionist. We get the Soul Rewinder so we can get a Golden. I decide to go and pick up the 6. I pick up Young Murkai because I'm just feeling super quirky. Pick up the Pilgrim because we already used up our free Spins. Here, this one doesn't matter. We just pick up the Murloc. Here we sell Drakari. We get another 
Imp. We're gonna get the Murloc guy, actually. We'll play Demons. And we're just getting stuff out of our hands at this point because we don't really need it. And here we get the Golden Eyes. Uh, I think I get it just because I'm feeling really quirky. I Golden Eyes the, uh, <laughs> the Percussionist uh, so we can get Young Murkai going off twice per turn with it. I mean, I guess it's cool. I don't know. Y'all let me know how this setup was. I mean, I think it's pretty... It's pretty quirky for sure. Um, <laughs> young Burke eyeing the, the two demons. Here we bring up Essence of Dreams. Uh, we get a Dreamer's Embrace at the start of every turn. And we get one starting off already. So we get an extra two demons right there. Here we're going to go ahead and cycle a few minions. Here we get the free gold. I hope we do. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Here we get another free gold. And at this point, I think I think this is one of those turns where I actually run out of stuff I can do. Uh, so I just start buying... Do I start buying random stuff yet or no? No. I Honestly, I, I could have picked up that 4-drop uh, eating spell. Could have picked it up. I think this might have been one of those turns where... Nope, no, it's not. I actually spent all my gold. Nice, nice. Uh, so here, pick up the one drop spell, and we get some more free spins. We get a taunt. Here we get another turn of Young Murkai. I think this might be the final turn because here I lose like really bad, and um, you know I feel like with all the cycling we're doing, we could definitely do a little bit better than two free demons every turn. But here we're going to go and pick up our last one. Here we get a golden, second golden Malkazar, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, here we pick up the third Malkazar because we're just feeling super good, I guess. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. Uh, here we pick up, yeah, we play the third one. Uh, here at this point, I mean, we're not really looking for anything specific. Uh, we are just looking to spend all of our gold. Here I think this turn we do actually level if I'm not mistaken. Here we sell the Malkazar because we don't need it. Pick up a Pogrimp. I think we pick up Percussionist. And yeah, honestly a tier 6. I feel like the only good card I would want is maybe Felbat, but Felbat isn't great because we're not buffing up the shop. Doesn't really matter. I know, oh man, honestly, I even forgot what turn it was that I even leveled because it just really doesn't matter. <laughs> Here we play against the Leafrogger again. We get a 100% win, baby. Um, you know, I, I feel like my brain isn't big enough to play Frogger, but uh, for sure, I mean, this was a pretty easy win. Even with the extra little pirate guys that he had, didn't do enough damage. Here we can deal 15, knock out the Rat King, very happy. Here we go and play the Percussionist Battlecry again. Pick up another Tecundrius. Go and play him. Go ahead and sell the Cultist because he's not a demon and I feel like we don't need it right now. Uh, we are not playing in a Quillbore lobby, so I feel like we probably could have kept him. But I wanted to get kind of greedy. Here we're keeping Leroy's in our hand because this, with what I'm doing right now, we're playing a build where we're just trying to cycle as much as we can. And there's always going to be one free spot open because, you know, we kind of just don't need it. Or right, we, we need a spot open so we can cycle. So here I go to leave it off with Leroy. I, I try and get something good. We don't get anything good. It is what it is. Here we get a 100% win rate against some undeads, which is very nice. Uh, undeads can be pretty problematic for us just because them summoning all these minions and doing all these things, it can get just very annoying especially if we don't have enough health 
Here, pick up keyboard again. I'm going to start playing him. Use the battle cry again. Here again, bad uh, bad five drops. It is what it is. The uh, two one taunt, I think would have been all right, but uh, we just kind of skip past it. Here, pick up another keyboard guy. Here is still spinning. We get the second to Kundrius. So they're looking pretty good. I feel like the Imp is actually probably my favorite because he lets me just buy uh He lets me just buy stuff for free, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna sell him. Here we get off the second spinner. And I just buy that spell so I can just, you know, buy it, I guess. It's not really some not really a reason I need it. And we're just making sure we get only uh, two Leroy's in the hand. We don't need a third. Third doesn't matter. If we get Golden, really doesn't matter. Uh, golden is just bad because it doesn't kill extra minions. It's just Golden. We get the reward, I guess. But that's really it. Here we go to knock out this whole board. We get a 100% win rate. And this guy is sticking in. For some reason, he's not playing Murlocs. He's playing Pirates there. That's pretty weird, especially because he has a pure power that lets him cycle. Um, I think it's weird. I mean, it is what it is. You do your own thing, right? I, I, just, I think that's weird. Uh, here, we're just trying to spin, trying to damage as much as we can. Uh, here, we get the spell guy. We get the rodeo clown. Pretty cool. And yeah, so I would definitely recommend, if y'all are trying to play this build... To try and play with a good internet connection. Uh, during some of my recordings, I feel like, for some reason, my internet is worse than McDonald's. So, you know, this is pretty lucky. It's one of the games where it is going off pretty well. But uh, for sure, that can be an issue. Uh, here, our board is looking really solid. We basically got 200, 200 across the board. So, pretty nice. Here we're playing against self-damaging beasts. I have not seen this in like a minute. It's pretty crazy. Uh, he's got the bison. He's got the reborn <laughs> swan. Uh, that's pretty funny. He's got double trigor, golden trigor actually, and a burb. Doesn't really all matter all that much. Uh, we just go and knock him out. Not as good as uh, leaf frogger. It's very sad because I feel like this build is just a lot better. I feel like it's more fun and it's better than Leaf Frogger, but maybe that's just me. Here I think about picking up the Venomous Murloc. Honestly, the Murloc I think is probably fine. But uh, my thing is I don't want to get stuck up against the Divine Shield and just like absolutely lose. So I decide against it. Leroy is just better uh, in general. And he's a neutral, so I mean, you can always find Leroy's. Here I pick up the second Golden Tecundrius. Pick up Felbat. Felbat doesn't matter. We're not buffing the shop, doesn't really matter. Here, we're just spinning for fun. At this point, I mean, we're, we're fine. And here, we actually do pretty good. He picks up a Leroy trying to cheat a little bit, but uh, yeah. We got it, baby. Another dub. Yes, sir.